Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. The idea of what we know to be everlasting life is from the Greek word zoe. Please, I want us to understand. Very simple exposition but will hold the key to our victory. Eternal life is a kind, is a quality. The idea is not another life. The idea is an all-surpassing life in quality. Like you go to buy stuff in the market and they tell you this one is fake or generally for everyone. And then they take you into another room and they say there is another one. If you have the money, they can bring it down. So eternal life is not one of the many lives this is what you need to understand eternal life is a quality of life that has sustained within it certain possibilities that only in christ would they manifest being in christ is the secret to activating that life is a life pregnant with possibilities and the nature of that life is such that the possessor of it should be like god are we together so whoever by any means can have access to that life there is an implication that that life should cause in you it should begin to produce certain effects that reflect god if by any means a plant has that life that plant will start behaving like god are we together if by any means a handkerchief possesses that life that handkerchief will begin to behave like God. Enshrined in that life is capacity to release all the multifaceted possibilities that are in God. It is God's own life. It's not an inferior type. So when the Bible says this is the record, that God, out of his benevolence, has given us Zoe, a class and a kind of life, then the Bible says that that life is in his son. So the condition to possess that life is that you must accept the son outside of jesus there is no possibility of sustaining such a life now there are other kinds of lives that you can access you can access a life assisted by the realm of the spirit it may not be eternal life are we together now i can go to a native doctor to program a mystery in a charm and aid me to live a life that is higher than the normal human life so I will be able to demonstrate possibilities that may not be affordable to the natural man, but it still is not eternal life. So we are not talking of any life that is above the human life. There are many kinds and quality of lives and living that are above the human life, but are not God's life. Are we together? When you meet a rich man, although it's all human life, because of the quality of what he or she eats and the children, their health and the possibilities that come with the kind of life would be far different from someone who eats once a week, once in two days. Are we together now? When you meet someone who um, has had access to certain drugs that can aid vitality, 
you would find that whether they are supplements or whatever it is there is an advantage that those provisions create to such a person that will reflect in the quality of his life from another so when jesus is talking about eternal life it's not a cater of lives and then his own is the highest no no eternal life is a class of life incontestable and incomparable with any other it's a class of life that reflects who god is he programmed all the possibilities in him like a software and encapsulated it in that life so that whoever receives that life receives potentials potentials notice my choice of words receives the potentials to reflect all that are in christ and all the possibilities that are enshrined in the person now many christians come to give their lives to christ we come out for an altar call we recite all kinds of things like many will be doing shortly but very few people pastor jakes really understand that kind of life are we together and not understanding what we have received will shortchange us and for many people their idea of eternal life is we only received an escape from hell which will be useful one day so for now let's keep it and go back to our normal life at death it becomes activated that is the idea that many people have about what we call eternal life so they say are you born again they say yes what they mean is i got that thing that saves me from hell but it's somewhere hidden i will keep living my defeated life and then if for any reason death comes is the trigger i bring it out as an escape are we together now the bible says whatsoever is born of god the word born of god is if it is god that introduced the seed that gave birth to it has in it it says overcomes the world not because of the possessor but because of what is inside the possessor of that life whatsoever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world and it says this is the victory that overcomes even our faith that's something i'll be discussing shortly so eternal life is not life after death eternal life is god's life that grants a man ascendance to release the possibilities of god here and now are we together it is important that we understand this it will reflect in the quality of your life and it will reflect in everything the moment i give my life to christ brothers and sisters the bible says listen to me carefully it says that i have been called as a result of that initiation out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation and by implication out of the limitations that come with those systems are we together let me tell you something about eternal life eternal life is a fact one of the tenets of the christian faith is the fact that when a man declares the lordship of christ over his life he is a possessor of eternal life it's a fact there are many tenets what we call the pillars of the christian faith number one of them is that salvation is only through jesus christ you have to know what you believe salvation salvation is only through jesus christ the bible says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which men must be saved the first tenet of the christian faith is the exclusive authority of christ to be the only one to bring men to the father no prophet no priest no apostle no prophet no religion no sect can claim to route you through another path to the father the bible says no man cometh to the father except by me the authorized medium to access the father and the life of god is jesus christ you are not a christian if you don't believe this number two salvation is by grace apart from works the second tenant of the of redemption the christian faith the pivot upon which everything we receive is salvation as far as receiving the life of christ comes it is by grace through faith and not by any ritual 
the word works there does not mean no action that's not what it means there is an action your faith is an action are we together the works there gives an idea of ritualistic activities i don't have to slaughter an animal i don't have to go to the mountain in israel to bow my head i don't have to face the sun or face jerusalem all of those ceremonial rituals have been ended the bible says christ is the end of that law not the end of action the end of the law are we together now there are three dimensions of the law not all of them left you have to understand this there is the revelation of the law that is the revelation of the character of God that will never change it predated the law it it will never change the universality of God's character is consistent whether from the Old Testament the New Testament the soul that sins will die nothing changes it grace only intercepts it but that reality is still a fact are we together number two there is the ceremonial activity of the law that has been abolished the observation of sons observation of festivals and and so on and so forth in a way to know god is been abolished are we together number three the rituals the rituals that men practice in an attempt to atone for their sins so when the bible says christ is the end of the law it doesn't mean that the coming of christ changes the character of god the universality of god's character is a fact i am the lord i change it not are we learning something tonight you have to understand the tenets upon which you stand that number one jesus christ is the only way to the father number two that justification by faith is an act of his grace you must understand this it was an activity that no man could qualify to even participate and help god so he had to do it by himself the only responsibility of the believer as far as the impartation of eternal life is concerned is to believe and act by faith according to romans chapter 10 from verse 8 and 10 it says who shall ascend to heaven and come he said the word is nigh thee in thy heart and even in thy mouth the word of faith that we preach right that if you confess that jesus is lord and believe with your heart you shall be saved for with the heart man believes unto righteousness the bible says and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation so justification is by faith i don't come to god with a goat hoping that if if any priest asks you to come with a goat you see that he's not he's not practicing all of that again are we together now very very important number three the third thing you have to understand is that the holy spirit is the custodian of the life of god the holy spirit is the custodian of the life of god it is in the office of jesus the son to introduce you to that life but the personality that holds that life within you is the spirit of god and that only in partnership with him will you have capacity to release the possibilities in that life it's called the fellowship of the spirit you must know this if you want to work as a believer the holy spirit represents the ministry of christ now every time the bible says in christ it means in partnership with the spirit that hails from him i can do all things through christ in partnership with him the holy spirit is the custodian of the life of god and the one who makes it possible to release the potentials there listen to me very carefully you can be a possessor of the life of god but not a manifesto of the possibilities contained in that life there are two different things possessing eternal life by confessing christ is a fact has nothing to do with your feelings but working experientially in the reality of that life has to do with your partnership with the holy spirit so he says grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge first peter chapter 1 verse 3 says according as his divine power has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness listen carefully according as his divine power has given us how many things all things that pertain unto life and godliness that all things was shrouded in a mystery called Zoe 
brought by the Holy Spirit. His very presence is the proof of the way in you. He's the witness, the spirit of adoption. Are we together now? And then the Bible says, but they are accessed through knowledge. According as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. It says through the knowledge. Here is, here, here is the big confusion in the body of Christ. Through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, Wherefore has he given us these great and exceedingly precious promises that by them, by releasing them, we may prove experientially that we are partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. So I have eternal life, but that eternal life is a possibility, potentially speaking, is at work in me. It will never stop the devil from buffeting you, but in partnership with the Holy Spirit, manifesting as various things including the spirit of revelation that paul prayed for in ephesians chapter one he was talking to people who were already born again but were not releasing the possibilities that came with that life and he says for this cause for as a as a token of my desire for you to walk in these dimensions i bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation wisdom revelation in the knowledge of him that your heart although has received eternal life that it be flooded with light are we together now then he says that you may understand the power that was exerted when he raised christ from the dead etc etc so i can be born again you can be born again but the reality of the implication of that life may not find expression that's why the bible says it is by grace available by grace but accessible through faith listen carefully available by grace but accessible through faith and the word faith there does not just mean believing the faith there is a summation of every partnership that you have to go through in satisfying the condition to release that so grace provides it faith hallmarked by your obedience releases it this is the equation of the believer's work if it's not available by grace it cannot be accessible so when we partner with the word of god we are not ignoring the grace of god we are receiving it our obedience is a token of our reception it is available by grace but received through faith so when i tithe, it is not the law I know that my prosperity and open heavens has been available by grace but my obedience is a proof that I'm interested in seeing it work in my life God cannot assume you are interested you he gave you a will and your obedience is partnering with your will so working out your salvation is not the law it's called partnership it's called koinonia it is the token of your expression it is the token of your interest to God that you want to see everything in him find expression in you. Zoe, the life of God. Received by many, experienced by few. Received by many, experienced by few. There are many possibilities that are enshrined in that life. Number one, the Bible tells us it's an indestructible life. Maybe let me finish what I started saying before we discuss a bit. I was talking about certain pillars. Are we together? The fellowship of the mystery that comes through partnership with the Holy Spirit. Number four, the reality of righteousness. Righteousness. Kenyon defines righteousness as the ability to stand before the presence of the Father without a sense of inferiority, condemnation, and guilt. Um, I, I agree with that except for the fact that righteousness is another name given to the nature of God. The very nature of God at work in a human is called righteousness. Not just an ability to stand. That is the effect of righteousness. It's not righteousness. The effect of righteousness is that the possessor can now stand blameless. But that's not necessarily the definition. Are we together now? righteousness the nature of god at work in me the 
authorization to be able to access his spirit righteousness number three number what number five is that in Christ and Christ alone is dominion a possibility in Christ and Christ alone is dominion a possibility please understand this this dominion thing people chorus around as if they don't need God without God dominion is a mirage dominion means exercising sovereign power over situations over circumstances and over the forces of darkness write it down dominion the ability to exercise sovereign power sovereign authority over situations over circumstances and over the forces of darkness is only a possibility in Christ Every other thing outside Christ is negotiation and pacifism, not dominion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If a herbalist tells you he's trying to drive a demon, it's not dominion. Through the mysteries of the kingdom, he will pacify the spirit. It's called occultic pacifism. That's why the demon can be angry again and say the sacrifice is over. So you have to renew it. But dominion is exerting sovereign control anytime any day and remaining there not renewed by anything listen there is no sacrifice in the village that is done once and for all are you hearing what i'm saying everybody come on this is africa talk to me africa there is no sacrifice that is done once and for all whether you are aware or not somebody goes somewhere smuggles himself into a shrine and renews it can be per annum, can be per two years, or can be per when the gods are angry. When they start manifesting, the priest will now say the gods have not eaten and you are eating. So people begin to die. And what happens? They slaughter a child or an animal and pacify. That's not dominion. That's negotiation. That's not dominion. Bishop Oyedeko calls it a far above mentality. That's dominion. Where you are in a class that potentially speaking, you don't have any reason to relate with the vicissitudes here. And if at any point it comes, listen, let me tell you something about eternal life. Eternal life, listen carefully, eternal life is not a life void of challenges, but it's a life assured of complete victory. Now, thanks be to God who always always not sometimes now thanks be to god who always causes us to triumph the next time you say that you have the life of god don't think you are saying you have a designer watch a designer shirt no you are god alone from before time began you are on your throne you are God alone and right now through the good times and bad you are on your throne you are God alone listen if I give you a millionaire's ATM and I say look for some reason for just trusting me I reward that trust by giving you an ATM potentially speaking has more money than you will need in your life this is recession so an example with money is a very fruitful one it will help people understand are we together he gives you an ATM are we together now but for some reason you have to be trained to know that that ATM is a fact that there's money inside it's a fact that potentially speaking you have access now you may move around with your friend that you used to eat with before it does not stop that the fact that you are a current possessor of that atm experiencing the possibilities someone must be introduced to your life or a document must be introduced that is a map that guides you and says stand before a machine the name is atm and you slot it and you are patient the dynamics of the operation this is where knowledge and understanding comes and you can hold that ATM forever and stand and swallow saliva in front of a shop that the ATM can buy the whole shop are we together now 
now you are crying to the one who gave you the ATM and he's saying I have made available so out of his love giving you the ATM is enough but he sent someone to come and guide you but that person is so gentle it will take your cooperation so he says look we created this ATM it's not like they gave us we understand how this thing works and you say no 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 no. I went to school just hold on when I am difficult this is what many people do so you hold this ATM for years and Satan comes around and tells you this thing is only a small card and he says it's a small card put it in your pocket and you put it in your pocket and move around this is what makes Christ look weak in the life of men this is what makes the word of God look like it is of non effect so in spite of the fact that this reality is a fact knowledge of the systems of God the provisions that have been made in place everything we do in the kingdom is not adding to what Christ has done is accessing through partnership the mysteries of the kingdom that releases those possibilities so that after five years of working with God my life should be able to reflect more of God now than it did five years ago not just in terms of finances and all of that in terms of ascendance in the spirit I should not fear five years later what I was afraid of five years before I should not be a victim five years later of what I was a victim of before. No. I prayed for a gentleman here. I believe he's here. He was in the school of ministry. He had a dream. And somebody appeared to him in the dream, punched his hand, and he woke up physically with a punch with blood. Many years before, would look at it and say, Hey, this is a serious issue. And go and shout like fools around. But when I saw it, I said, I want to touch it. Zoe. Zoe. This is not the issue of prayer. There is an implication to the life I hold. Let my, the life of God make contact with that infirmity. Zoe. God's life. Possessors of divine possibilities. I want you to take away, take your eyes away from your challenge if you want to believe this. Because that's what Satan will use to mock you. You are a possessor of that life. Why are you barren? Five years. Don't mock yourself. And then you say it's true. Uh -uh. There is still a provision because to make sure that you release this life, he still gave unto some apostles and prophets. Look at all the provisions he put in place. He gave you his life, gave you his spirit, gave you his word, sent gifts in the body so that we are not without excuse. If you fail, you neglected the systems of God. You neglected his life, so you go to hell. You neglected his word, so there is no growth. You neglect his spirit, no direction. You neglect the gift, so no lifting. Anyone that fails in life, listen to me, is not God. He neglected the systems, the life of God, the spirit of God, the word of God, the gifts that he has sent. Just like there are people here looking at me who have never been interested in the life of God. The life of God is the most superior reflection of his love and benevolence. More than giving you a pastor. More than giving you a prophet and apostle. More than giving you the Bible. More than giving you whatever it is. You have to receive them in that order. You don't receive his life. Even if you receive his prophets, you will not maximize your stay. The prophets can only assist as guided by God. They cannot impart life. A man of God can impart every other thing aside from eternal life. I can impart healing. I can impart an anointing. I can prophesy to you and your life will change. But I cannot say be born again. I can even stand before God to declare your sins forgiven. Right? In terms of the limitations that stand between you. But that is only a possibility in Christ. Please, I want you to believe this. This issue of being born again is not a choice. It's not a choice. People buy phones now. Their phones get missing and they cry for days. Because owning a phone now is almost not a choice. Let's institutionalize salvation. Let's make it part of the fabric of growth. To make it look like you don't say, okay, if you want to, you want to, you better come out. Whether you know it or not, you want to. Are we together? Eternal life. 
what you believe about Jesus is important you must believe that he came from heaven if you believe he came from Israel you are not saved you are not a child of God there is a footballer called Jesus he cannot save men he can play football but he cannot save men please let's clarify these loose ends quickly before we continue there are things you have to believe Jesus himself said in John chapter 6 I am the bread that came from heaven he told us his location that he came from heaven you must believe that he came from heaven number two you must believe in his incarnation his incarnation is the mystery that made the world flesh the womb of the woman is that mystery the mystery that made the world the eternal word that was with God John 1 verse 1 become flesh many Christians don't know this you must believe in the incarnation not reincarnation incarnation if you believe in the reincarnation of Jesus Christ you are an antichrist incarnation incarnation the word became flesh number three you must believe in his humanity he didn't just come and die and went away he walked upon the earth partook of the weaknesses of men there is Jesus the man he walked upon the earth the Bible says he was in every way like us tempted yet without sin if you don't believe in the humanity of Jesus Christ you will shortchange yourself from walking in the fullness of the life of God you must believe in the dominion he exerted by means of the presence of the Holy Spirit in his life not by means of being Jesus the Son of God when he came upon the earth he stripped himself of his Godship and submitted himself as a model to the ministry of the Holy Spirit so every result gotten in Jesus life was not because he was Jesus it was because he was under the influence of the Spirit so that we are not without excuse the same Spirit that made Jesus the Christ is the same Spirit that will make Jake the Christ is the same Spirit that will make Ejimi the Christ is the same Spirit that will make Joshua Selma the Christ believe in the humanity of Jesus he demonstrated the sovereign power of God flawlessly above creation above principalities and powers he demonstrated to us in his earthly life that Zoe is a possibility are we together you must believe in the passion of the Christ theologically speaking the entire event that took place beginning from the upper room the communion where they received the Holy Spirit was where they had the communion are we together down to the experience in Gethsemane down to Pontius Pilate and Herod who used Jesus as a scapegoat to become friends they were enemies but Jesus look how powerful Jesus was even before he died he reconciled enemies then you must believe in every activity the mystery of the whip for by his stripes we are healed the mystery of the crown of thorns that was put upon his head an exchange for our dominion restored you must believe in the mockery that he received you must believe in the fact that he was on his way to Golgotha the place of skull as an exchange for us Jesus did not die on the road he was hung on a tree it was necessary that he had to be crucified if Jesus died and it was not by crucifixion he would not be able to take the sins of the world there are conditions to be able to take the sins of the world number one you must become flesh number two your blood must be sinless number three you must enact a mystery that transfers the sin of men to you and that mystery is called the communion the communion is not what Christians take in church the communion is a sacrament there's a theological name for it. It's called the doctrine of interpenetration. The mystery with which two people become one is what is used in marriage. Two separate entities by covenant. Still different personalities but one in the spirit. And that is enacted through the communion. John chapter 6. Are you getting blessed tonight? John chapter 6. Let's read. Help us media. Let's read verse 35. Okay, just for time's sake, let's run to 53. 
just four verses 53 to 57 John chapter 6 53 Jesus is speaking now then Jesus said unto them verily verily I say unto you he's introducing them to the mystery that will make the sins of the whole world come into him you have to understand it's not just that he died for us we died in him so you need to find out how we entered him because Galatians 2 20 says I am or I have been crucified with Christ not just that he was crucified for me are we together Jesus died for me that's an act of love I died with him that's identification there are two different things it's not just enough to believe he did it for you you must believe that you did it in him that's why we are seated with him but we must trace where the journey started verily verily I say unto you except ye eat of my flesh listen carefully ye eat of the flesh of the son of man and drink of his blood what will happen to you ye have no life you are living physically but you are not a possessor of my life now to eat the flesh and to drink the blood is a mystery there is a prophetic act called communion a physical prophetic act but it's a language remember Hosea chapter 10 right Hosea chapter 12 I have spoken to you by the prophets I have used similitudes similitudes it's in the character of God to use similitudes what we call prophetic act a foreshadow an um, adumbration of something physical like he told Moses to leave the rod and that rod is Christ so it's in the character of God that's what I mean by the universality of his character is consistent both pre-old old New Testament post new <laughs> hallelujah 54 who so eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath zoe there is and I will raise him up at the last day 55 for my flesh is meat indeed now this sounds like occultism so you have to understand my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed 56 he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth aha he's now switching the parable for you to understand that he's not necessarily talking of physically eating he's talking about a condition of intimacy that can be likened to eating and drinking prophetically adumbrated by a physical activity to eat the blood the body and blood of Jesus is not just to eat things no it is a dimension of intimacy that begins by accepting and receiving him so he says dwelleth in me and I in him eating and drinking is an adumbration of a system that gets you into Christ and gets Christ into you last verse as the living father had sent me now listen and I live by the father do you know what that means that means I ate and drank of the father so I now live in the father that same system that made me to live by the father it says so that he eated me shall also live by me listen are we you are intelligent now Jesus is saying the father gave me his life and he called how he got that life eating and drinking and he said the same way I ate of the father's life that means I ate of his flesh I drank of his blood to have his life so also that means we must understand how did Jesus receive the way number one he was born of the spirit of the father understand this he was born of the spirit of the father number two he was empowered by the spirit of the father number three he walked in obedience to the spirit of the father these three conditions translated to him eating and drinking he released the reality of the fullness of the life of God everybody look at me communion 
is more than bread and wine if your experience at communion stops at just eating bread and drinking wine you are carrying out a religious activity that is powerless the eating and the drinking only becomes powerful on the strength of your understanding it is your understanding that releases the life are we together that means hi hallelujah every day of my life i can be eating the communion when i do the i eat the communion certain things happen many of them we're going to look at it the bible says that we testify and we declare of the lord's death how do we declare of his death we died with him we are alive that means my being alive is a testament that he is alive when you understand all of these facets of this communion then you will find out you can release the possibilities that come with it healing breakthrough an invocation of the mystery of mercy I can spend all night talking about the mercy of God the mercy of God is a mystery that starts with sinners but is needed in the kingdom otherwise we will not attain that height mercy is a mystery in God that vetoes judgment in your life it has nothing to do with whether the judgment is legitimate or not the moment your life is in a situation where on legal basis the devil should prevail over you what you need is the application of the mystery of his mercy are we together remember when david took a man's wife are we together now david was a man who loved god he took a man's wife killed the man and when he had a man's wife a particular prophet came his pastor came and gave a parable he started with a parable and gave a parable a parable that reflected that a man bullied a man and took something and david said who is that man and he said you are the man you are the man do you know what happened the bible says immediately david repented and sought for mercy and i think it was abner his prophet he said ah the lord has shown you mercy and you will not die meaning the price for that thing was death if david did not invoke the mercy like saul he would die too so david did not become an heir to the throne and then a predecessor of jesus because of perfection the difference between him and saul was mercy there was nothing saul did that david did not do the difference was mercy mercy is only available in christ mercy is a mystery that satan cannot give mercy is a mystery that pastors they can pardon but they can't show mercy we interchange the words mercy is a mystery mercy is not to be excused mercy is that they pay for you so you enjoy the freedom but at the expense of someone else's there are few men who can show mercy they can pardon you but mercy does not take away the price it only exempts you hallelujah tenants of the christian faith unshakable foundations that will make a man remain in christ doctrine will rise and fall denomination will rise and fall technology will introduce sex and rise and fall but after many years you will still be standing let me tell you if you ever fall in your christian race it's not because satan prevailed over you it's because your foundation was shaking when you don't know what you believe that make up your conviction the day you meet with somebody who is an intelligent professor who studied scientology he will sit with you and use quantum physics to wash away your intelligence and make you look at jesus and say i never knew you were you were um buddha's mate it's just that you came ahead of him every religion acknowledges jesus but what you acknowledge him as makes the difference you acknowledge jesus christ as a carpenter's son it is true but you are still going to hell are we together now yes I believe in him 
and this is what I believe about him this is what the devil when he comes to your life he probes the dimensions of your convictions Satan is not a fool he doesn't come to attack men when he came to Jesus he started throwing questions the questions were testing how far and he found out ah every dimension there was a word basis that word did not come by mistake he went to the temple from age 12 he had been learning he had been building when satan comes to your life he will begin to throw issues around your life to find what dimension of spiritual reality has not become spirit and life to you that becomes his access point to your life satan cometh to me so he will come to everybody but he did not find meaning there is a possibility that he can find listen let me tell you something brothers and sisters you need to sustain an orientation in the spirit that defies every assault of darkness for instance the bible says while we look not at the things that are unseen but the things that are seen so if the devil wants to manipulate your senses to make you look like if you are truly in christ don't mind this stupid Joshua Selman and what he's saying. If he's really in Christ, why is A and B and C happening? The happening in your life does not change the fact that his life is in you. Hmm. Our eternal destinies are determined by the, whether or not we are possessors of that life. But the qualities of our lives on earth are dependent on the extent of our partnership through faith with the Holy Spirit in order to release those lives so if i look at a man's life and his life demonstrates a dimension of spiritual possibility that is not in my life aside from other factors like the election of grace and other things it must mean therefore that there is a dimension of partnership he has sustained with the holy spirit that i've not been able to come into it that's why a family can have five people their father can be a pastor but the extent of their results will differ. Are we together now? Listen, when Jesus walked upon the earth, he was very specific with his actions. He intended for certain things to be understood about his work on earth. That's why he had to reveal himself to Paul to document these mysteries. Although the disciples saw him, when he resurrected he still was with them 40 days and then left them 10 days in the upper room to receive the holy spirit but even in the midst of that he still had to anoint a man paul of tarsus saul who later became paul to be able to articulate the mysteries paul calls it the fellowship of the mystery the fellowship of the mystery the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians 1, 2, 3 that we are alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life. Are we together now? Not experientially walking in the fullness of that life. Listen, tonight as we prepare to receive the communion, I want you to come to terms with certain things. Number one, you must have the brokenness and the unashamedness to admit that if there is anything in your life that is yet to reflect the fullness of Christ it is not because of a limitation posed by God it is that there is a dimension of partnership with the Holy Spirit are we together that has not yet begun or has not yet come to fruition for you to experience that dimension you are only authorized to receive results if you can maintain that posture that my life and your life today is not a reflection of who God is but a reflection of how far we have chosen to walk with him it's an uncomfortable truth but victory starts from that standpoint either he lied or there's something wrong on our own part are we together so if there are witches appearing every night destroying your life you sleep and somebody appears now listen let me balance something to deny the existence of that possibility is another dimension of foolishness this is what sometimes we preachers do we say it does not exist no it exists you can only be exempted you can't stop it satan still has authority over the systems he's still the prince of the power of air he's called a prince the spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience. 
for a season he's still allowed what happened is that god created a mystery that exempts you causes are real they are still at work yokes are real they are still at work they will still attempt you and until your knowledge bails you out knowledge of what the systems of the kingdom bails you out you will still be a victim of them so when you come to me as a man of god and say sir somebody came in the night and slept with me i said that's nonsense no you are not being accurate you may have ascended a level of understanding that exempts you from that experience but to deny the existence of that thing is a joke what i can do is i can introduce to you what christ gave to conquer it hallelujah you have won the victory lift your voice and sing unto him Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. You're seated in majesty. Seated in majesty, you are the reason, King. You are the reason, King. Hallelujah. My life and my experiences are too small to limit everything God said about Zoe. If I live my life today dying of sickness, dying of failure, my life cannot be a model enough. To say this is all that is contained in God and I must have the unashamedness to admit that my limitations are not caused by the inability of God to produce that result it's been encapsulated in the way it should be a challenge for me that there is a dimension of understanding through the ministry of the word the ministry of the spirit and the ministry of his body we are members of his body not just his spirit we are part of the body and the body as an entity holds possibilities so i can love jesus christ but i may not have been taught that part of his system is the introduction of apostles and prophets that can speak over your life that can make me walk barren of the possibilities of god but when i study through the word that there is a provision made like that then i can align myself to that provision and now begin to walk in a new reality tonight is a night of brutal admittance we have to come to a point where we admit that listen my father has not gotten a job for 20 years my mother has not gotten a job for 20 years it is not because god cannot release jobs it is because there may be a dimension either they have refused to receive his life partner with the spirit understand his word or discern his body these are the causes these are the things that are responsible for the limitations of people so what we are doing tonight is not why you will be healed what you are understanding now is why you will be healed this understanding is what gives life to the wafers the person who made the wine you are about to drink may be somewhere you bought the wine he was doing business the person who made the wafers you are about to eat he may even be an unbeliever he just had that christians eat this thing often and he said this is a stream of income and produced it so you are eating somebody's value you are not eating power it is your understanding that translates that mystery like water turned to wine between the water and the wine was a word when a word came it turned the water to wine it is that word that understanding that will turn bread to his body and the drink to his blood color does not matter whether the color is green or blue it's only red to affect your psychology even if this is what you take it is your understanding in the kingdom power is released through understanding not just motion you tie it is not the money that brings the power is the understanding that gives life to the activity that's why jesus said this is how you will build 
and the gates of hell will not prevail upon this rock the rock is not peter the rock is a system upon this formula you will build never speak outside of understanding so the system is that you first understand then you act when you act out of understanding you are building upon a rock when you act void of understanding you are building upon sand the sons of skiva showed us a graphic example of that they spoke but there was no understanding and he said jesus i know he built upon a rock paul i know he built upon a rock but you are just speaking that means you come and eat because you heard that bishop oyedeko blessed communion and people took it and all of a sudden people were vomiting animals and then you take it and as soon as you take it as you are getting home the same spirit comes again because it's not the ritual the understanding is where the power lies so paul i repeat ephesians 1 for this cause it's not enough that you have received the way for this cause i have to go the extra mile to bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you that the holy spirit may reveal himself unto you as the spirit of wisdom and understanding so that you will know epignosis come into an understanding not awareness come into an experience where you and the information has become one when you understand this then you take that step and you find out that life is now released some of you because of this you will not even be able to hold the communion cup because you are now holding it now with understanding the demon that oppresses you has seen the light understanding gives life to the symbol remember the entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding when that light comes that's what releases the power ordinarily you would have carried it and eaten and said can i take another one you see why paul rebuked the church in corinth they were not discerning the lord's body a time came when many of them started using the communion for alcoholism because they did not have a system of preserving this thing so they looked forward to communion services communion will always remain and then they didn't just take a little this thing this is just for social reasons and then to guide people financially but then you could have a big cup and fetch so there were people who would fetch and go and hide somewhere they didn't believe in jesus and they would drink and paul found out they were getting tipsy in the middle of an outpouring and paul said no you people should come we need bible study something is wrong you guys if you are hungry that's what paul said if you are hungry do what go and eat in your house don't come to the lord's house and violate his temple by eating he said for this cause this is it for not discerning for acting foolishly out of understanding many are weak many are sick many do sleep when was the last time you saw written in the grave of a man that he died because he didn't discern the lost body they say he died of cardiac failure for this cause so if i want to improve my life it's not all up to god the way is at work it's been available by grace but my partnership i must check the systems i'm ignoring i am ignoring the life of god like some of you are doing looking at me now not born again when you see people talk about get born again, say, forget about them jerry they are just hopeless people after all so 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 sociology said religion is the opium of the masses that guy may probably be in hell now be careful are we together now hmm don't 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 listen to junks you can write it and pass your exams but when it comes to your eternal destiny you must be serious you have rejected his life or you have rejected the ministry of his spirit you have rejected the ministry of his word you have rejected the ministry of his body these are the provisions made i want to ask you a question tonight which one have you rejected you can easily know it by looking at your life you have insulted every man of god you know by saying look forget it i insult every man of god we can all go to christ you have accepted christ you may have accepted his word but you have rejected his body there is a consequence a bitter one they are taken for a prey and none say it restore 
the bible tells us that there is a system with which god built his ecclesia the church he said christ is the chief cornerstone immediately you meet christ he introduced two ministries called the apostles and the prophets they are the foundations of the church if you do not meet them your building cannot grow the cornerstone is there you ignore them you build nonsense it's a system it's an election of grace which one have you ignored some of you have ignored have supposedly admitted the ministry of the holy spirit you like power you don't doubt even if somebody jumps up and hangs in the air you like it but you have ignored the ministry of the word thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path that illumination that comes through his word you have pay attention to what i'm teaching tonight you have ignored that boundary of revelation and you will find out that there will be a lot of charismatism around your life and you will know which one is witchcraft and which one is of god because there is no compass there is no the word of god is like a buffer solution it defines the dimensions of the operations of the holy spirit so when you are going out of it the word of god guides you and says no every manifestation must be consistent with the character of god there are people who have embraced supposedly the ministry of the word the bible calls them men who have come around the baptism of john and ignored the ministry of the holy spirit acts 19 remember have you received the holy ghost since you believed verse 1 and verse 2 they says we have not even heard whether there be any holy ghost and paul was surprised they were believers disciples going through bible study he said unto what then were you baptized they said the baptism of john and paul said no the baptism of john was a baptism of repentance to the end that they should believe on he that should come even jesus christ and when they had it the bible says they were baptized in the name of the lord and paul laying his hands on them they now received the ministry of the spirit of god right they prayed in tongues and prophesied the bible says there were about 12 of them acts chapter 19 1 to 5 thank you very much so it is possible to believe the bible just because you inherited it from your pastor but not walk with the spirit jesus died to make all these systems available his life in us exclusively given through the office of the christ but released by the interaction of that believer with the spirit of god the word of god the body we teach a lot about the word of god we teach a lot about the spirit of god but we ignore his body christ is the head he's not a head moving around that head has a body and he acknowledges that the body is part of himself and then in another mystery he calls that body his wife you don't ignore a man's wife and leave, and then he will laugh with you the bible said jealousy is the rage of a man so as you insult his wife simply because the wife is wounded are we together if a jimmy's wife has an injury and you say because of that she's no longer a woman a jimmy will stand close to her first before he will give you a slap you say by this little act let me prove to you that when i said i do i meant it i also said i mean it so the man of god may not be perfect but he's still part of the system when you criticize him you are criticizing somebody's wife and that man will react are you hearing what i'm saying for this cause i've taught it here go and get the teaching on the body of christ i told you the mystery of receiving from the body of christ was adumbrated in the parable of samson samson went to the philistines and he gave them a riddle he said out of something weak came something strong and they could not decipher the parable he killed a lion and then bees did not know where to go and put honey they went to a carcass and put honey there meaning if you must enjoy the honey you can endure the smell so you come to a man of god who is temperous but look beyond the temper there is an anointing there is always honey in the midst of the carcass this is the mystery of discerning the body you have to ignore the limitations that are in people so if the pastor does not look like you you may see him a yopi person and babs as if is is some of these touts around this these vegas guys he may be that may not be the best but the truth of the matter is that he may be anointed the woman may dress and she may be careless you know 
like I was teaching a school of ministry students yesterday and I told them I went for a program and there was a woman of God who was introducing something and Kai, I'm not somebody who talks about dressing but mm -mm, even till today it's too much it's, it's not it's not she didn't leave anything to the imagination very bad for a congregation very bad for a congregation I say it again very bad for a congregation anyway it happened but the fact remains that the woman was very anointed can you endure the smell because the honey is there it's a mystery how the bees endure the smell to pitch it there there is this treasure let me give you the new testament translation that treasure is hidden in the bible didn't say in vessels in earthen vessels so you may not like me as a person but why don't you look beyond the limitation and see that there is a treasure that's why there is no church that cannot bless me if you search for jesus you will find him i've ministered in all kinds of places i remember when we were coming back from ekiti when we met some of the the the, the men of god that prayed for us pastor jake they could not speak yoruba that's enough to annoy me say so what is all this i'm the one who needs the miracle i need long life that baba cannot speak english but is walking in an experience of a reality what do you think we did we looked for an interpreter there has to be an interpreter we found an interpreter who came and the man said we should kneel down now i have received jesus christ i am walking in partnership with his spirit i have received of the word but i discerned his body i would have said i'm a man of god i i was going for a crusade it was a powerful crusade mighty miracles and on the way we stopped and the man didn't even say you are pastors say kneel down first really that's what he said and in yoruba he was just praying i didn't hear one thing he said but all i know is that that man was long he was living long enough for me to cover that grace which part of god's systems have you ignored please hear this message tonight is the answer to the prayer that demon that has oppressed you you have quoted scripture that's very good it's true that you are working with the holy spirit but your knowledge is limited but there is still out of his benevolence he has kept an anointing with a vessel one word go will set you free of 10 years of limitations but we will refuse and say look i know jesus christ by myself so you limit god's possibilities to only the revelation that the holy spirit and the word is permitted through your willingness and sometimes your lifetime may not afford you the dimension of revelation it takes for the result you need so you must tap into every channel that's what he meant when he told nicodemus you must be born of the water and the spirit otherwise you cannot enter you can see it but you will not enter seeing the kingdom is that it has come to you but entering it is becoming a testament of the reality so you can now say since i was young now i am old i have never seen the righteous forsaken no that thing was not a poem to be recited by everyone it was a man's testimony based on a dimension of possibility you have to make it yours before you speak otherwise you will keep mocking yourself this is what these unguided confessions that are not out of understanding will keep mocking us if ye are abraham's children you will do the works of abraham what was his work he believed god god told him something god said abraham i want to introduce a dimension to you i have not done to anybody and abraham believed god tonight is easter all over the world there are cathedrals there are ministries there are crusades packed full with the over two billion christians on earth attempting men of god there are tapes rolling all over churches right now every man of god attempting sincerely to reveal something that the people can take back about easter i brought to you a reality the bible says this is the record it was documented god has given us eternal life but this life is in his son and whosoever has the son has that life but grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge 
according as his divine power hath not will hath is a fact giving us giving us giving us every limitation in my life and your life is a revelation of something about the systems of God we have ignored or are still learning and have not come into that fullness when you know that you put an urgency to your pursuit for God for the more I know you the more I want to know you Jesus more of you for the more I see your face the more I want to see you. Jesus more of you shortly we are going to take the communion please those relevant people let's station them there are three mysteries that the Lord revealed to me that will be open to us tonight as we partake of the communion three number one the communion tonight is an encounter with the spirit of revelation we need revelation in our lives we need revelations in our lives brothers and sisters please hear me we need revelation in our lives the limitation of my life and your life is not dependent on satan is dependent on how far i can access the dimensions of the possibilities that the life of god can provide based on the knowledge that i have his life only gives you potentials your partnership accurate partnership makes it an experience tonight as you partake of this let something boil in you that all men are equal in christ but they are not equal in possibilities our possibilities are determined by the truths we have chosen to receive and the dimensions of the systems of the kingdom we have comprehended and so we must press hear what paul says he says this one thing i do forgetting the things that are behind i press there is something i need to know about death to stop being afraid of it there is something i need to know about poverty there is something i need to know about restoration there is something i need to know about fruitfulness The love of God is revealed when we study his systems. The Bible says the invisible things of God, right? The invisible things are seen, they are learned, they are taught by the things that appear. So I look at and say, what, what kind of a man is this that grants me access to his life, sends his spirit to me, causes men moved by the same spirit to document more information? The apostles did not have a Bible all they had was the torah right the pentateuch the five books of moses but now god has gone the extra mile for our generation because he knows evil and wickedness will increase and he has left a document to still help us and then in addition to that he has empowered men and women in the body so that we are not without excuse and what a joy the lord has spoken to us this year that is our year of triumph that means we can walk with these systems of the kingdom and rise when i was studying i was just studying the passion of the christ tonight and i was so touched looking at everything jesus went through just for me just for me jesus came and did it just for me just for me just for me jesus came and did it just for me that's what he did tonight well the cross will always represent the love god had for me when the lord of glory heaven sent gave all on calvary just for me 
just for me Jesus came and did just for me so what is the implication of tonight I remember I remember his sacrifice while he was on the way to Golgotha the Bible says that there were certain things in the mind of God and Paul was given access to those things they were encapsulated in a document and Paul calls it a testament and then Hebrews chapter 9 Paul is speaking pastor Alpha already there Jesus knew that those things would be activated only at his death so they were prepared and when he died there was still ignorance and he started moving through holy men to document these things to say now you have access I have died for every will is not yet activated until the death of the testator Jesus died if he did not die eternal life will not be a reality he hung on that cross between two thieves a 33 and a half year old man naked there was no covering no he was naked and he looked at the world that he came to die for and the people yelled crucify him let his blood be on our children they were prophesying something that would really happen because his blood had to be on their children for them to be saved what was a statement of war was a prophecy let his blood be upon our children they didn't know that was why he was on the cross they mocked him let me tell you something Jesus did not go to the cross as Jesus he went to the cross as me and you when he stood there he saw me he saw Joshua Selman he saw Koinonia remember Acts chapter 2 they were caught in their heart and they said men and brethren what do we do he said repent for the remission of your sins and you shall receive that promise for the promise is unto you and unto your children and to your children's children he says as many as are afar off which the Lord will call this is where we came in in Acts chapter 10 reading from verse 38 down to 44 the Bible says the moment the Holy Ghost fell on all they that had him day of the circumcision the Jews said ah I perceive truly we now see that God is no respecter of persons but that in every nation whoever calls upon his name will be saved tonight we are taking the communion number one access to the spirit of revelation according to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 I bow my knees and I pray for you O church of the Lord Jesus Christ that I desire you to release the reality of Zoe that life that is indestructible that life that is far above principalities and powers the life that is capable of demonstrating dominion here and now the life that is characterized by victory the life of meaning the life of fulfillment the life of purpose but it's access through knowledge the spirit of revelation number two the second thing that the communion will release to us tonight is reenacting that covenant of life through that prophetic act that we are going to be doing the bible says he that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life do you know what that means there are many things at work in your life now that were not sponsored by that eternal life watch this my body as designed by God is supposed to grow through a system there should be a symmetry and a synergy correct if a boil starts coming out from here that boil is growing not at the same pace with my body now biologically they can say something is responsible but spiritually we know that another life is responsible so the result of that another life I see it different from my body so what you do is by the mystery of the communion you are taking it to your physical body physical flesh and blood it's a mystery that reminds the devil that every part of you was handed over to Christ that means whatever is not a derivative of the life of God put it scripturally every tree that was not planted by my father meaning there are other farmers 
are we together there are other what farmers for instance while men slept an enemy he's a farmer the bible says he came and sold he's a farmer and left whether that sleep is a spiritual sleep psychological sleep as a result of the weight of the vicissitudes of life fatigue several things happening in your life and you did not know and it weighed you down or as a result of real physical sleep the activities of darkness listen as you take this i want you to discern the lord's body don't just to discern the lost body is not to eat slowly to discern the lost body is to take it with understanding it's not that you close your eyes you take it slowly no 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 that is religion to discern the lord's body is that as you are taking this truly speaking this is wafers this is wine but the, my understanding authorizes the holy spirit to form an eclipse between that that activity that dinner thing and me and as i lift it is the same thing as the servants who were carrying water while they lifted it the distance between his word and your mouth causes a miracle to happen this is what will make somebody hold it and just the distance from the table to your mouth you can't stand it an anointing responding to your understanding that's why somebody can take the communion and all of a sudden you feel you just took something small that before it got to your stomach a lot of itself was hanging around different parts of your body but all of a sudden you take it and you are already feeling fire on your leg did that thing get to your leg it's a mystery you only gave him space tonight can your communion be a body that you have prepared for him we have prepared a body remember a body has thou prepared without a body he cannot move so the communion just like the human body can become the body tonight that communion can be the hand that heals you tonight that communion can be the mystery that destroys the devourer for your non tithing and god can say i give you a clean slate start again tonight that communion can be a reversal of several things if you take it with understanding are we together so we are going to pray but before we pray overflow one overflow two by the road those online from any nation and any place you are listening to the first key is to receive the life of god zoe the life of god is not christianity christianity was a description given to possessors of that life god is not initiating you into a religion he says come on to me listen there are people seated here looking at me inside and outside you are tired and you're saying apostle as i stand right now sincerely i don't even know what my life is about i have tried like the worship team sang i've done everything but tonight i am in all humility lifting my heart and my hands and saying i need that life my father refused to receive the life my mother refused to receive the life my brothers and sisters refused to receive the life i choose to receive that life and there are yet others who may say at one point i came for an altar call but sincerely i don't know the name of what i did i only know that they said congratulations and they gave me hamper i ate what was inside but nothing entered me and this night i want to eat of my the bread he said my bread is my body is meat indeed for in the sanctuary God is oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary God is wherever you are just wait till i start counting before you come i'm going to count one to five because of time there are people here who are saying apostle as i sat listening to you i knew that i had to be sincere with myself and i knew that i have to win this war 
my life does not reflect Zoe in any way number one I have not even received it every time I hear preachers talk like Saul of Tarsus I mock them and I say they are wasting my time but tonight I want to win that one and number two there are others who said well I know that I came and confessed something for a while I was even walking with God but sincerely I know between me and God right now that I'm not serious with him and I don't want any pretense again wherever you are the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you overflow one two wherever you are I want you to make your way here I would have asked you to go to the overflow outside but there is a reason why I want all of you here so as I count one to five there are people there I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain leave your seat and come out here right now if you are ashamed of your friend you are ashamed of your brother you are ashamed of your sister then you are wasting the mystery of Easter start coming one God bless you leave your seat and come don't be ashamed clap for them koinonia appreciate them as they come God bless you keep coming that flows from help me see Emmanuel's face Lose all their guilty strength. The third mystery that you will receive tonight from the communion is an empowerment for a strange order of dominion. Please don't forget these three things. Don't forget these three things. Number one, access to the spirit of revelation. Number two, an exit of everything that was not planted by God. There will be mighty, mighty miracles and deliverances as you take this. Number three, an empowerment for a strange order of dominion. The centurion said, for I am a man under authority. I say unto one go and he goeth I say unto another come and he cometh speak the word only the Bible says where the word of a king is there is power that as you partake of this communion something will come upon you the Bible says that when you take it right first Corinthians 11 when you take it that you announce you declare the Lord's death the meaning of that is that you tell principalities and powers that the person you used to know is not the person now Jesus died and I died in him and now the life that I live I live by the faith of the Son of God another system so way God's life now this is what we are going to do I'm going to give you two prayer points we are going to pray seriously and um, everyone outside you don't have to come there are the first overflow at the projector there is a provision like this the second overflow at the projector there is a provision like this and then in here we did it because of time now this is all you are going to do those here you would come this way just take the cup and the bread drop the cup there and match this way those here you will do the same thing and then i think there'll be a provision here at the minister stand so that we don't have chaotic things please some of you will fall under the anointing as you do it just be careful and let's just coordinate them I want to pray and bless this now and then we are going to pray the moment you partake of it you go back and find a corner and begin to blast in tongues and pray these three things in your life that's happy stuff for you you have to pray it with all your heart and say Lord I understand this mystery let my understanding permit the life of God to find expression prayer point number one Lord I believe I believe but in case I do not believe help my own belief lift your voice and pray whatever is not of faith is sin lift your voice and pray pray inside and outside pray inside and outside
Are you praying? Help my unbelief. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. 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 point number two Lord as I partake of this let the mystery of the communion be enacted in me whatever this represents I permit it to work in me lift your voice and pray seriously inside outside those online get bread and get wine or water get something that represents the communion Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen. I want to pray for the communion. 1 Corinthians 11 from verse 23. The apostle is speaking and he says, For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, listen, that same night which was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me 25 after the same manner he also took the cup listen are you seeing the order so you take the bread then you take the cup he took bread and said eat then he took the cup and he says this is my blood of the new testament do this as often and then he says 26 for as often as he eats this bread and drink this cup ye do show the lord's death till he comes now he says for this cause verse 30 many are weak for not partaking of this with understanding many are weak many are sick and many among you sleep meaning if i partake of it with understanding among other things it should destroy weakness it should destroy sickness and it should destroy death that's the next prayer point lord weakness sickness and the plague of death any kind of death it leaves my life now lift your voice and pray Lift your voice and pray. Victory. Victory. Over sickness, weakness, death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please agree with me. I want to pray. I tell you, I sense such a strong anointing in this place. I'm praying here at the projector stand everywhere. Those online, regardless of any nation, just go and get something, water, wafers, food, whatever. It's just a token. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,
name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ father tonight I stretch my hands prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ upon this communion this is ordinary wine and wafers but Lord we command it to lose its earthly significance now and take on a heavenly significance and Lord I pray using this as a point of contact to every other communion set around the world connected to us now I decree and declare that this becomes a type and a shadow a similitude of the body of Jesus a similitude of the bread the blood of Jesus Christ and Lord I pray that as we partake tonight we access the spirit of revelation as we partake tonight every stranger in our life must go immediately and Lord as we partake tonight fresh fire for dominion and triumph in the name of Jesus therefore Lord we declare this blessed we call it blessed right now I put the word of God upon it and I declare that it will produce miracles in the name of Jesus God bless you please start coming start coming quickly worship him help us let's just have some people come and stand open it up and then Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus.
Kau kaka sunang ka Ubaingi jika isayabu Nakir mama sunang ka Ubaingi jika Nado kaka sunang ka Ubaingi jika isayabu Nakir mama sunang ka Quickly, 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 quickly
time. There is no other name. Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name. Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name. Other name. There is no other name. No, 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 no. There is no other name. Like Jesus. What, what is wrong here? Why are there no people coming? Please, quickly, if you are coming, ushers coordinate them, protocol coordinate them, please. There's a lot to do. If you are coming, double up, please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Ha! Like Jesus, are you praying there the is spirit? no other name? Are you no, praying no, the no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, there is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, 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 there is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, 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 there is no other name. You are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Say. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. You are the only living God. Yes, you are. Hey. Say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. We praise it, 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 we love it, we love we love it, we love it, we love we love it, 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 we love you, we love you, we love you, I adore 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 you, you are the only living God, yes you are, you are the only you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. You are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God. You are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. We praise it. 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 We love you. 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 I adore 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 you. You are the 
Lord. Let your name be glorified. Hey, you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Oh. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I say you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I say you are the Lord. Let your name. Cross! 
Jesus, at the count of three, I command a baptism. You have taken something in your body of the spirit of revelation. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. That fire upon you. Illumination. By the mystery of communion, step into a new dimension of light of illumination i command your spirit man to comprehend with all the sense the length the breadth the height the depth i call your spirit man rise higher a higher dimension a higher dimension a higher dimension Mantles are falling here tonight. Mantles are falling here tonight. Mother kinds are rising from the gates of the church. The poor are rising from the gates of the church. For the kings to be born, for revival to be born, for revival to be born. For the king, now listen to me. Any stranger in any 
anyone's body now whether by covenant whether by sickness right now as i speak let the mystery of the communion speak now i command judgment every sickness blood disease covenants right now every tree not planted help that lady by my father let it go now let it go now terminal diseases yokes of delay limitations i command you to give way right now ah i tell you there is a strong impartation in this place I want to activate upon you a grace listen the bible says rule thou in the midst of your enemies rule thou that they may come against you in one way but that an unction from the most high can be upon you and scatters them a thousand ways the lord has declared that it's a year of triumph you are about to receive something that will make you run like elijah i pray for you the mantle of strange dominion strange dominion over principalities over circumstances take it now take it now run like elijah run like elijah take it now i release that mantle i release that grace no limitations, no limitations. Breakthrough, dominion, breakthrough in business, breakthrough in career, breakthrough in academics. I command it by the spirit of dominion. anyone here who is a man of God you are in any kind of ministry may an unction for kingdom authority let it come upon you right now take it now take it now grace kingdom authority take it now dominion let that fire rest on your ministry let that fire rest on your church let that fire rest on your assembly in the name of jesus christ i pray that everything jesus died for and is not yet manifest in your life from tonight i give the devil no rest may your eyes begin to see the salvation of the lord may your eyes begin to see the salvation of our god i pray for every family represented here and I prophesy, enough is enough of every demonic assault. Therefore, tonight, by this communion, I release judgment. I release vengeance. I release judgment. I release vengeance. I release judgment. I release vengeance. Whoever has partnered with darkness, to keep your family bound this night as jesus died in exchange may the earth open and swallow them may the earth open and swallow them the kind of results that your hands have not handled i pray for you that in the next 30 days as surely as the Lord lives by the mystery of the death of this Savior of us step into that dimension of results
step into that dimension of results. Hallelujah. There are many of us here right now with all kinds of storms standing before you. Dead sentences given by doctors. Some of you are holding it and wondering, can God change it? There are many of us in situations that only God in heaven, you can't even share it with human beings because they do not have the faith to believe a man can be going through this and still be alive. But there is a God in heaven. Brothers and sisters, you are gathered tonight before that God in heaven. There are men who are held in bondage. God has anointed and called them, but the doors of ministry will never open. You know why? Because many of them don't want to serve God. Doing ministry is not serving God. No, sir. Make no mistakes about it. You're a man of God here. Pay close attention. Let me show you why you keep getting disappointment in ministry. You can be anointed, praying in tongues, raising the dead. All that is stories. If your heart is not committed to serving the purposes of the kingdom, forget about all of these things. Most people want power. When you see a man of God walking in the anointing, when you see crowds, when you see all kinds of results happening in the life of a man and a ministry, many people admire, they want it. You see, God has no problem giving it, but your motive, your motive, your motive. Oh God, give me twins. God says, even if you want 10, I can give you. What is your motive? Let me tell you something. This issue of committal to serve God, this committal to follow and pursue hard after God is a big secret. A big secret. The justification behind the stagnancy of many people and the motivation behind them leaving that place to another realm. Let my people go. Oh Lord, change my financial status. God says, I can. It is within my power. But what for? And he said, God, I'm just tired of poverty. God says, that's not enough reason. That's if I give you too much money with no assignment, it will kill you. It will destroy you. The Bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them. Lord, give me a crowd of thousands of people. Make me a man of influence. Lord, let people love me. Let me just be a celebrity. And God says, it's all within my power. Justify your reason. And he says, Lord, I came from a background of inferiority. God says, so what? That's not a reason for me to trust you with influence and grace. But when a man's heart becomes resolute, Lord, grant me finances so that one day I will override the building of your house. God says, you want to do this for me? And then you quote his scripture back, for the sake of thy house, I desire thy prosperity. And God says, that's it. You satisfy the condition to see my hand. Lord, heal my body. I want to serve in your house. But the department I want to join requires energy. And Lord, I have found out that I have a medical condition that cannot allow me carry chairs. And God says, who gave you that condition? The moment anything stands between you and serving God, it has become God's enemy. It's God's own fight. Let me tell you how to join God and Satan. You service. Let your problem follow you to the altar of service and stand back. And God says, whatever stands in the way of any man serving me has become my enemy, including a man. Are we together now? When, he, when, when, when the captain of the host of Israel appeared before Joshua, he said, are you for us or against you? He said, all that is nonsense. Whoever is on God's side is the person I'm for. If you are against God, I strike you. If you are for God, we are a team. God is not a Christian. God is on the side of whoever has the heart to glorify the Father and to see his kingdom come and his purposes established. That you are a Christian is no guarantee that you will get the partnership of God. Your heart. Is God preaching to someone tonight? Lord, I want you to launch me far. I want you to change my life. You have said it's the year of triumph. And God says it's not a lie. Brother, there is more anointing and unction than you have ever dreamt to walk in. Leave all these kindergarten visions here and there. There are superior dimensions, but your motive, 
you, you pray for 40 days but your motive corrupts it from day one and God says come to a point where your heart is committed to serving me and I will not release do you know my 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 project with God is to come to a point where God is not afraid of doing anything with me or committing anything to me I want to get to that level of trust with God where whether the virtues are with him or with me it makes no difference because it's all his own come on now whether that anointing is in the throne room or walking through my life it makes no difference because it is for his glory tonight hear me it is God's desire to heal you it doesn't take rocket science but now when you become free and energetic what do you do with that strength that's the question God is asking Lord I used to sing well but then I had an infection that destroyed my voice and God says but I've never seen you commit yourself to singing in my house and lifting up my name and now you want me to clear that throat condition so that you go back and the devil will use your voice for nonsense and God says no way you can cry you can roll on the floor if your motive is not intact forget about the experience of the power of God are we together now say Lord say it everybody Lord I declare that as you bless me as you heal me as you deliver me I vow to serve you with my life I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. Forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back, hey, no turning back. Don't man forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Come on, sing it before him. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Hey, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. It's a costly assumption to assume tonight that everybody wants to follow Jesus he said I've, I've discovered that there are people who genuinely are not interested in following God I'm not talking of self perfection I'm talking of a sincere committal to following Jesus genuinely with your life no way there are many parasites of Jesus financial parasites of jesus there are parasites of kingdom principles they want to use kingdom principles and mysteries as a ladder to become famous sir it doesn't work that way oh please hear me tonight there are people every time you hear a man of god talk about passion for jesus you think they are talking about ordination to ministry no sir is an addiction to see his kingdom come for god's sake what else will i be doing with my life if not lifting up his name jesus i lift up your name 
Jesus, I lift up your name. That's what I do for a living. Jesus, I lift up your name. Time lift your voice and say, Jesus, I lift up your name. If God cannot find his purposes fulfilled through your life, I tell you, forget about the outstretched hand of God. You hear me say this, don't let any man fool you. God is not a herbalist. My brother is your heart God is looking for. Not tithe, not offering. Your heart, not music, not just energy. My son, give me your heart. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. I want your heart. When we talk about Jesus Christ, many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization. The days that will come, please hear me, people of God. The days that will come will require outspoken radical passion for Jesus. All this organized civilized nonsense that makes God look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people. Oh, I'm now 25 years. Don't, don't make me look like a child. I'm now 30 years. I hope you know I'm now the director of A and B and C nonsense. And that's the reason why you are. David danced before God. And his wife said, Abba King. I'd keep your dignity. And David looked at her and said, hold on. You don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife. If you know it, you will join me dancing. I was a little boy with no hope, no destiny. Did he read any book? I was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness. I danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne and now because I am here you carry your dignity the Bible says God had him all and that woman died barren it was not the devil that made her barren let my people go not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older let my people go that they may go and serve me this issue of living for jesus serving jesus no let bless him accepting him into your heart there are many people when you talk about genuine surrender not coming out to recite an altar call i make up my mind i am for jesus forever they laugh at you they laugh at you because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should I give my life to Jesus I want to be the God of my own self so you manage your life by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you answer your prayer by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you mismanage your life by yourself it says submit down to the mighty hand of God then resist the devil and he will flee you know i sincerely see a lot of people great men and women of god who want to walk in the anointing and i see the way they play games with submitting to the authority of christ you will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing until god vets your passion you can't fake it there is a level of kingdom influence and power no, it go to a herbalist, you will still not get that dimension. It takes your heart dead to Christ, not just living. This one, you have died to the purposes of the kingdom. Otherwise, you cannot carry certain levels of grace. No, the kingdom has rules. You, you can fake it with men, but not with God. There is a dimension, brothers and sisters, where God vets your heart and sees that pastor femi will live and die for me i'm not it's not one leg in today and god is not sure what you will become in 2019 no Basanko. Please 
listen to me everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen I want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to Jesus is not an initiation into a religion called Christianity no are we together now where you are switching founders from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say Kai, stone is not a better alternative so i come to another founder there are not ten gods there is one god hear ye O israel the lord our god is one god i don't care who preaches what there is only one god the king eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me i don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with god shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with god i don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls i'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but i want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what i'm saying i grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when i was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as i made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with god there is this fear of getting serious with god for some reason you think if i get serious with god my, i won't make it in life the moment i'm serious with god i won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lied to you which men which one are you talking about the drunk are there the smoke are there or a genuine holy ghost born again visionary brother if i'm serious with god when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that god cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it elijah said i'm the only one god said keep quiet there are seven thousand others who have not bowed to bear please hear me there are people here god wants to visit your family but there is no one in your family who is born again and you will be the first tonight because god needs an access point to your family the system of the kingdom is such that god must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory if and when god does not find a man his power is still limited there must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of god find expression so if god wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says I'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says i'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father i'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no I'm, I'm too i'm too i want to marry now god please go somewhere he comes to your sister i'm looking for men there's no time to look for god and god says i want to step into this family no one has given me space if god can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture 
he won't share it but that dream would torture him till he thinks about it he will get up alone and you'll find out for the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things but tonight you must come genuinely to jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the spirit of god you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of god to grow this dilly darling with god is the recipe for failure i'm too young to reject god the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life i claim i'm too big for god before we continue tonight i'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as i'm speaking to you the holy ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there i see you and the lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but i'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in london whether you are wherever i'm going to make this altar call now i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to jesus i know you will be healed young and old i don't care how long you have been you are saying lord i'm tired of living my life the way i want i want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain two Three. So keep coming. Don't say there's no space. Even if you have to line up outside, no problem. This is your salvation with God greater than any miracle tonight. Just find somewhere to stand. If the place is full, keep lining up there, right outside. Five. Someone is still thinking about it and saying, Apostle, I'm a nice person. I've never done anything wrong. It's just that I've not declared Jesus. Join them. By the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved. You didn't do anything wrong. But that very nature of darkness is resident upon you. All of you who are standing here, please don't look at anyone. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to Jesus. Everyone who is standing, stretch right outside and those online. Talk to Jesus right now. And say, Jesus, I come to you. I come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated i expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of god lift your voice and cry to jesus lord i'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and i know it my mother is not saved i know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure I know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved Lord I know that pastor is not saved he has a church but is not saved pray cry your heart to jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the savior he wants to reveal himself first as savior before deliverer before healer
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you standing stretched to the outside, please look at me. I see you, some of you are crying sincerely from your heart. Listen. There is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you, young and old. I don't care what you have done. I don't care how your life is. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let any man point an accusing finger, but then you cannot remain where you are. There are people standing here and say, man of God, if you will lead me to pray, I will, I will love it. I've been praying for an opportunity like this, but there are powers always keeping me. Wherever you are, inside, outside, don't mind who is looking at you. Lift your right hand to heaven and you are going to say this prayer after me. Please, it is not a poem. It is a genuine, genuine prayer, meaning from the depth of your heart. It says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Why? For it is the power of God unto salvation. The Lord wants to give you a new beginning. I know you came to be healed, but he wants to take over your destiny. With your hands lifted to Jesus, who is here, not in heaven, right here in this place. Say after me, passionately and sincerely. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. This night, I have heard your word. And I make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days, I will live for you. I will serve you without shame, without fear, without going back. This night, I hand over my life to you. Say it again. I hand over my life to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I declare that the power of sin, of Satan, of the flesh is broken. Every association that is not of God, I am separated from them this night. I declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today i am a child of god and i will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together. We lift them up as trophies. Worthy trophies for your blood. Worthy trophies for your death. And Lord, I decree and declare that this once you have brought tonight, none will be lost. I speak over your life. The joy of salvation that very few people know about. May it be your inheritance today. I declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today i declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation we roll it away right now in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven by the mercies of god i declare that you have a new beginning with god you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone i'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what i want you to do um protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details i know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in god that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please i hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can 
respond to them very quickly. We have five, ten minutes for this because I'll start praying for the sick now. Praise the Lord. Now, the second instruction I want to give all of you is this. The Bible says, they that be planted in the house of God. It says they shall flourish. It is important not only for you to just get born again, but to be planted in the house of God. Instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in Koinonia. It's a very large house. So what we do is that anyone who gets born again, automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month. Whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department, the prayer department meets Tuesdays 4 p.m. just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down Rema Chapel. More information will be communicated to you. And so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the holy spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth i don't want you to waste this experience praise the lord i bless you in the name of jesus and shortly the lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah Please coordinate them, coordinate them. Let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Hey, I never see anyone like you. Where's Sam? Help me. Like I never see anyone like you. 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 everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny Give me strange results. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me. In the name of Jesus, visit me. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again in the name of Jesus. Every long standing issue in my life. And my destiny I declare that you must give way tonight lift your voice and begin to pray hey! 
yourselves into two and pray this prayer if you are holding a child or you are doing something that's all right otherwise find somebody a serious neighbor hold a hand i want you to agree say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now lift your voice and pray Agree, if any two shall agree, as touching, believe in what you are saying, you are opening doors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still holding your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, take away shame. Take away mockery from my life, my family, and my neighbor. Lift your voice and pray seriously. Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit behind the tragedies in my life, in my destiny, and my family. Expose them tonight. Lift your voice and pray. For the light shines in darkness. Pray for the light shines in darkness. Let your light shine, O God. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. 
Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah, light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives come at you when a spirit listen carefully when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny brothers and sisters let me tell you i don't care what you do physically remember spiritual intelligence you can be doing the right physical things but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo representing a covenant an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry i prayed over the father's picture i've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that but you could look at the leg and see the bone the bone the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone what happened to the man he went to bed in the night brothers and sisters i think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness you want to move forward but there is an embargo the solution is not counseling you need an encounter with power everybody say power listen the power of the holy spirit is not a negotiator it's an enforcer when the power of god comes it does not ask you whether you want to be free your assignment is to be open till it reaches you when it comes it scatters anything that does not look like god lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent i'll pray for you now the spirit of god is upon me lift your hands everyone there are people here right now I want you to bring there the first sets of people who will come out ushers grace for you and protocol i know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road but i want to pray everyone please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people right now in your silence hold on 
let me just say this the power of God will begin to come upon you what is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance that deliverance is equal to breakthrough equal to new levels but lift your hands there are people here who are under strong yokes of delay and the Lord gives me an instruction we will just lift our hands and be silent that's all the instruction and inside and outside the Spirit of God will begin to locate them are we together when that happens then we'll take it off from there that's the first thing God wants to do tonight just lift your hands everyone thank you Jesus the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands and there are people and families and those following on online except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay that spirit must leave you are we together so keep your hands lifted thank you Jesus Lord wherever they are right now I stretch my hands according to the instructions you have given me inside and outside right now i see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay keep your hands lifted bring them out outside there just the angels of the lord are walking i'm seeing like smoke just moving across lines line by line inside and outside when it comes to you when you are under that influence that's the end of it right now i command it the word of the Lord is upon this prophecy in the name of Jesus no instruments don't play anything outside there is massive deliverance happening separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you Jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't budge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of god is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the lord is upon it bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now bring them i see people outside kai my god 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 many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken Now, 
Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. My God, you'll be surprised at what will happen now. Everyone say after me. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. The grace for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's the instruction god gave me that grace breaking chains now i'm speaking across the congregation i have been seeing this for weeks padlocks opening in the realm of the spirit that's what the lord is showing me padlocks opening 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 right now I open them I'm under the shadow of yours Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of yours your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow Your influence is all over me Oh, 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 Lift your hands Lift your hands Fire is coming on 32 people and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars. I hear family altars right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. I set those altars now on fire. Right now, 32 people. I see in the realm of the spirit. I command it right now. I command it. Everyone on this ground under the influence of any altar now be free now help them please help that lady be free now right now be free now be free now Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your own. Everyone lift your hands. Say this after me in the name of Jesus. Please say it seriously. Say in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction hear the word of the lord as i shout the name jesus i command you to live my life at the count of three shout jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting i command spirits you go now you go now you go now you go now inside and outside any spirit resident within any man's life any woman's life causing pain as I pray for grace for you in Jesus name because what I see now is not a nice scene the Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus there are people who are going to vomit physical things 
that's why i said it's a messy scene i, I apologize we're very neat and organized people inside and outside but in the name of jesus right now any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now one two three i command every stranger go now every poison every devil causing sicknesses every fibroid every devil every enchantment hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision of a lady if you're here i want you to come out i'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice and they are giving somebody everybody a substance like a drink something to take they gave everybody including you and you took it where is that person please if you're here i want you to come out quickly it's a is a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody where are you come your deliverance comes now i'm under the shadow of your wings help me your influence is all over me Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this the lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I combated. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know my mother i don't know they she brought somebody and you people entered the covenant and they gave you something hold my hands shout jesus, jesus. i command that covenant jesus. that demonic thing time your life in this miracle service it lives now in the name of jesus you too where are you from, I'm from kogi State. you are from kogi State. the same thing hold my hands look at me I command that devil to leave you now whatever yoke please don't come out if I don't call your case are you part of them mr. man young man you're part of them in the name of Jesus I set you free bring the, you, you two come make sure that so that we don't get the place rowdy be delivered now help her out be free now out I'm interested in this lady please stand up my dear if you can this lady's whole family is in bondage whole family the entire family nothing is working in your family the Lord wants to deliver you right now hold my hands I command that spirit your time is up leave this family now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I break the yoke over your life now out now There is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep up where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long three weeks eh? three weeks. for three weeks you've been caught lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too huh Substance. your what hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance lift your hands lift your hands lift both of them I'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking 
and that the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this kite ta 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 do you know what i just saw the lord opened my eyes and i saw like a cage and in the cage i saw snakes that's all i'm seeing that's all i'm seeing lift your hands everybody the lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation there are people who represent that oppression it will leave now the lord is asking me to wave my hands lord as you have said i see snakes in cages whose destiny is that right now whose destiny is that i wave my hands in the name of jesus please release them for your glory release them now help them please jesus christ inside outside be out of that cage now i see snakes serpents some of you see them in your dreams they must go now they are leaving you now now they are leaving you now i command liberty 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 hallelujah i'm hearing a name jane jane like j-a-n-e jane 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 i'm also hearing another name victory is it victory like victory victory please don't come out if that's not your name what's your name jane your name is victory where are you from delta state delta state i have to pray for you your family is being seriously oppressed why are you people here you are all jane jane your name is victory i want to pray for you kaza chat kaza chat is it kaza chat who is that kaza chat i'm hearing that name that's that's like a kaduna name kaza chat please who is that the breakthrough of your family has come kaza chat is it i don't know why god is going to kaduna now nom is it nom shu or nom shu or something like that i don't know if there's a name like that nom nom shu or something like that nom something. please if that is your name you are why are they here i call their names i'm going to lay hands on you except for you i don't even know why the rest of you are but please i want you to believe the moment I lay my hands on you, something will happen. The Lord is saying I should start with you. Lord, open her door now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Reproach leaves your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach leaves your life now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Reproach leaves your life now. Reproach lives your life now. Hold my hands. Call your parents and tell them the Lord is giving them breakthrough. Your family, your entire family, Delta State, breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. The serious witchcraft over your life. Hold my hands, Lord. The Lord is asking me to walk with you. This is how your destiny is opening up. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Walk with you. To walk with you. Something is happening. It's a prophetic act. You will not help her to walk with you. Opens in the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. This girl, lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing wind around you. And the Lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and the lord said his restoration i stretch my hands upon you right now i release that grace for restoration 
restoration there are seven other people who will tap from this anointing this same anointing right now seven seven right now the anointing for restoration is coming upon them receive it right now wherever you are Zabata kata la kata frate kese brende gata le kate pras kata baratu shubre diara. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry, let them come. Let them come. Doesn't matter. With your daughter. Mama. Hi. There is the spirit of death on your family. I'm going to pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. You came from where, Mama? I came from Edo State. From Edo State? Yes, but I'm living with Sasa. You live in Wusasa? Yes. But you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Seth. You too? You are an usher? Okay. Hi, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. Huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you. And you took what's the name of this thing they take? We we and you were high. You were about to cross the road, and then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it, just running and killing you. There is somebody here you smoke please don't be there's nothing to be embarrassed about it's not like you are not a serious person but this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt I don't know if it's your shirt, it's jeans. Who is that? No, no. There, there's another. Come out. I will pray for you. This, this is not the only guy. Just keep them here. I will pray for him. I'm seeing another person outside. The second overflow. You are standing on the road. The Spirit of God is speaking to you. Speaking to you. This thing they roll and they smoke. And then you even i'm seeing you swallowing a drug i don't know what drug is that please come out come out clap for them as they come out join them quickly and come whether i mention your case or not you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction indian hem whatever forward march come here your salvation come sir please appreciate them clap for them some of them are not bad people it's a spirit don't be ashamed Please usher uh, direct them so that they come here. I'm seeing up to five ladies in this group. Up to five ladies. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't let anyone laugh at you. Please, this is a miracle service. Join them. We oui, we oui. codeine. Whatever it is, join them. Whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not, come and join them. Please quickly, that addiction must be broken now. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Keep coming. The devil is a liar. Who can stand against our King? No one can.
Hallelujah. I'm seeing a very small boy. Very small boy. Very small boy. Who is supposed to join them? Young man, please hold on. Please, if the parents of the boy are here, don't flog him. Please. This is a very small boy. You will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing. He saw an elderly person smoking it. Come out. There is a small boy here. I know what. Drag him out. Come. Where is the boy? Come out. Please. Gentlemen, I'm going to pray for you. Don't worry. You are not bad people. I'm seeing a number of ladies, up to five ladies. They are refusing to come out. There's nothing to be embarrassed. Jesus Christ wants to set you free. This is a miracle service. It's not like you have evil people. That's not what we are saying. It's a spirit. You don't stop by counseling. Mama, there is a spirit of death over your family. And I will pray for you. I will pray for you in the name of Jesus. Who is this? Your daughter. What's your name, my dear? Is this mic working? Can you add Lillian, the voice? Lillian. Lillian, what do you want God to do for you? I want God to heal you. What's wrong with you? I've been having problems with my tongue. No. 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 You had a dream. Huh? You saw a snake. You can't even remember it. And from that day, you started having serious problems with your stomach. Huh? What's wrong with you? I've, I've, I've got to test. And, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem. Because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant. But you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? How long has it been? It's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now, Assuming a brother has been trusting God to marry this sister, do you think the brother will marry her? Please help me. Do you think he will marry her? You look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant, but she's not pregnant. Kai. There is a lady who has refused to come out. The power of God is going to come upon her outside. You are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here i'm seeing the angel of the lord outside that lady you were a sincere lady but i, I don't know if it's um, another lady i don't want to say what i'm seeing not to embarrass you because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this there are other things that i see that i may not be able to talk about i'm, I'm asking you to come out god wants you to be free for the sake of your family the power of god is going to come upon you outside outside to be free of this thing my dear look at me this is koinonia the lord is going to set you free you believe in miracles mama you believe in miracles yes, i have to pray for you money runs away from you huh madam i will pray for you mama yeah okay do you hear how sir okay this is your daughter please be comfortable whatever language you can speak there is an interpreter here nobody says you must be able to speak english or whatever any language please if i call you here or you stand here for healing don't be under any pressure to say you must whatever language is comfortable speak it if i don't understand we'll find somebody to interpret please don't put yourself under pressure and say no we are excellent people but we are not fools we can't put anyone under pressure hallelujah mommy I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing restoration to your life. This is what I am seeing. And the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Can I pray for you, ma'am? I will pray for you. Ah. I have to pray. I'm seeing not you, but I'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident, traveling to Abuja. And having an accident we have to pray i'm not saying it will happen once god reveals it is broken lord jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of jesus christ we avert death by the power of the holy ghost mama
is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda, something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come out. Eh? Jacinta. No. But come. Where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria. I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand. Anybody that is not designed by God, I separate you and him forever. Say amen. In Jesus' name. Gracilda. Gracilda. I'm hearing Gracilda. Something Gilda. Please. If it's not you, no problem. But that's what I'm hearing. Mama, let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. New beginning for you. Hold up, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, lay your hands on your stomach. Kai. Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink. Every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. Look at me and you will never be barren in your life. Say amen. There are two ladies, you are inside here. There is an embargo of barrenness on your family. Fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo. You don't even know. It's in your family. It may not be in your life. But I'm seeing it right now. The angel of the Lord is locating two ladies right now. And is breaking that embargo. Thank you, Father. I put the word of God upon this prophetic word. That embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same mama i will pray for you this is your daughter do you know that god is going to use this girl god will use your daughter for his glory hold my hands my dear there's small girl now but god will use you in the name of jesus christ I anoint you. Mama, I decree and declare, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance. The power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place. This is somebody's deliverance. This is somebody's deliverance. Lord, set them free right now. Right now. Right now. I'm seeing something rolling around this row. This row. This row. This row. Shala sobariatas kabandabria. There's no hiding. There's no hiding. Someone in this row. Someone in this row. Someone in this row. Hardship over your family is being broken right now. I'm stretching my hands. This row. Right there. Father, locate that person right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, come. I want you to rejoice. Look at me. The Lord, hold on. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that where you have been crying, you will begin to laugh. You have been crying for 30 years, and the Lord is saying, Your breakthrough has come. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please shoot for me. Come, madam. Hold my hands. The Lord is there and should tell you it's your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your season of laughter. Your season of laughter. Look at me. Lose her hands now. Lose her hands now. Lose her hands now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied I lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ open doors open doors open doors open doors open doors that's what the Lord is saying open doors the Lord has said you have waited too long it's time for the door of your destiny to be open open doors come there is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you hold my hands leave her now out out when bad boys see you they can't leave you as they are passing they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you are a small girl but the things you know are what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of jesus christ i want us to pray for these gentlemen before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gone short gone short yes, sir. who shot you i'm a soldier i was shot by my colleague you are meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you eh? yes. but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you are a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come lift your legs go ahead you're a soldier lift your legs look at this come on koinonia look at this lift your crutch up look at this look at this Look at this. Walk as fast as you can. Don't be afraid. Turn around. Turn around. Come. Because your wound is not healing. There is a wound, but there is not healing. From today, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you. Where are you now? You are in Zaria. You are still in the force yes you are still in the force yes, huh? yes sir i want to pray for you do you believe god can favor yes sir i have to pray for you god is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? look at me brothers and sisters i want to break this addiction from your life now are we together you are very sincere people some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends some of you were initiated into these things by spirit i'm going to lay my hands on you while the congregation whether your child is here or not whether your brother is here or not as you are praying you are sowing a seed for your own home are you hearing what i'm saying stretch your hands don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any it's none of your business Koinonia is, a, is like a hospital. Stretch your hands. I will lay my hands on every one of them. Please, all of you should pray. I want to break addiction from your life. Don't feel condemned. Jesus will help you. It must be broken right now. Broken right now. Broken right now. Any kind of addiction. Out, out, now, out, out. In the name of Jesus, out. Look at this guy, out. Break from his life now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be set free. Be set free. As soon as I lay my hands on you, continue praying. Be set free. Addiction, break! 
break in the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. No addiction for liquor. No addiction for drugs. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head. Out of her life now. In the name of Jesus, I break that addiction. Ah. Hey, Jimmy, come. The Lord is saying you should pray for this guy. He will pray for you. This guy needs serious prayer. Just lay your hands on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Now! I command that devil. This is somebody that loves God, but this addiction must be broken right now. I break it right now. I break it right now. Hold my hands. You are a nice lady, but we have to break this thing. Lord, please, for your mercy, let it be broken in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to minister to somebody. I'm seeing a very interesting case. You love God. Please don't be ashamed. There is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to. Who is that person? I want to pray for you now. Whether you are sick or not. Come and stand here. Particular pain reliever. You can't help it. You can wake up 1 a.m. in the night and swallow it. It's a spirit. Pain reliever. I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital. God is visiting addictions this night. Quickly, come. Don't sit back and say, I'm all right. Allow God set you free. Let them come. Look at this. Pain. I don't know what it is, but I hear my spirit pain reliever. Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. There's one of you, fire is coming on you now. After that fire comes on you, then I'll pray for the rest. That's the instruction God is giving me. One of you, fire, literal fire is coming upon you from heaven as i lay my hands upon you that addiction breaks right now stretch your hands and pray for them don't feel embarrassed broken now broken now broken now in the name of jesus addiction broken now broken now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken right now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken now if you have for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus it's broken now in the name of jesus broken in the name of jesus place your hand on your stomach God is not only setting you free, he's setting you free from something else. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Addiction broken now. Addiction broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Addiction is broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Broken now. Hold my hands. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a spirit that wants to destroy your life. I command now, there's no hiding place for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you must be set free. You are standing in for somebody, no problem. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural freedom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, 
praise the Lord. Please accept you are nursing a child or doing something. Let's all rise. Those outside, they are still praying for you, no problem. All other people, please stand up. Rise up. I want us to pray. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, please do it quickly. The Bible says, Unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come. In one minute, God can turn your life around. Everyone stretch your hands here and pray. I'm going to lay hands on the request. Pray passionately from the depth of your heart. Lord, I will not have to write this again. Pray. I've written it. The Bible says after two days, please, if there are still people coming, bring it quickly. It says after two days, he will revive us and on the third day, he will raise us up. Online, here, please pray. I'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the God of heaven, visit men and women. Are you praying now? Pray. Shalakata prata katosa pretiash. In the next one minute, I'd like you to pray, blast in tongues, and say, Lord, this is the last of the prayer request that I'm having to write concerning this issue. Hallelujah. Agree with me with a loud amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment Jesus I present to you impossible situations according to men and I ask you turn it around now turn it around now Turn it around now. Let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now. Every case here said by men to be impossible. We, we collide that case with the power of God and we produce testimonies now. Whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now. Whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now. Whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now. Whoever must hear God for this prayer to be answered, hears God now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, may your people not have to write this again. Agree with me, may your people not have to write this again. Lord, I pray that before miracle service april let every request here be turned into a testimony may the fire and the anointing of the holy ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of Elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we're in a very strange season 
of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring god wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him god wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of god for performance for performance not just that you had god and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith god has declared that is our year of triumph i want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping i'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no god i must stand before your people are you hearing what i'm saying as i speak over your life now among the many things i want to speak right now i want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance many of you may not know what this anointing is listen carefully lift your hands he said who has ever heard that a city was built in one day but as soon as zion travels there is a grace that is coming upon the people of god hear me for performance he said blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a corporate thing unto her there shall be there are many things god has said that has not come to pass there is a grace that engenders performance i prophesy to you now in the name of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now is yours receive it now is yours receive it now is yours performance 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 shake it la bata la prete get a soto ropa shiata grace for performance everything hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by god i decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now I prophesy the spirit of the Lord is upon me I speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of Jesus whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by god i put fire upon your feet and i command speed now i put fire upon your feet i command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. 
the lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of april for koinonia you may not believe it but for koinonia and everyone connected to this grace the lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say i'm too small receive it don't be foolish in the name of jesus you must be a participant listen i tell you brothers and sisters please write this down you will see a strange rising rising write this down you will say i said it nothing to some i mean mysteriously people will have to ask what is happening it is a grace there is a grace that makes it happen i'm not talking of business i'm talking about the suffering word of god upon the life of a man may it be your portion in the name of jesus i decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is god in your life i release that dimension of favor now listen you can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of god you will struggle for nothing please hear me i prophesy it again whoever is lacking favor on his life i decree from this night carry favor inside outside everywhere online carry favor let me prophesy over finances whatever makes money run away from you don't say i'm talking about money you need it for what is coming in ahead whatever makes finances run from you whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury i turn it around now i turn it around now I pray for every student here the kind of results you have never seen I release it to you now I release it by the Spirit I release it from the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ anyone due for promotion here or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno tribal sentiments they have trampled upon you i decree and declare may the angel of god responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest I pray for your loved ones. I pray for you. Whoever is called jobless here, yeah, before next miracle service, get something doing now. I prophesy it again. Whoever is called jobless before next miracle service, I don't know how it will happen, but get a good job. There are people here trusting God for direction. Very clear direction for the next level of their lives. Could be maritally, could be geographic location, whatever it is. Hear God in this season like never before. 
hear God in this season like never before. Lift your hands. I release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Sapoto so brigadier. Receive it right now. From tonight I declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my God honor it I said may my God honor it whoever fights you goes down immediately whoever fights you goes down immediately hear me Whoever mocks your passion for God goes down immediately. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise, may his prayer be answered. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise in Koinonia tonight, may their prayers be answered. Every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside I tear that fail completely in the name of Jesus favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction I pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit I'm praying it again begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit The mantle of honor that God has put upon my life, God has put upon this ministry. You are part of this vision, you are under this grace. There's no reason why it should not work in your life. I command it to start speaking now. No more dishonor in your life. No more dishonor in your life. Hear me. For those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you whatever has killed your prayer life this night i release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication listen see let me tell you something don't ever let people there are people who are under such passion for new things the system of the kingdom is dynamic but the foundations of the things that make men grow are the same prayer the word corporate fellowship obedience if you leave any of these things and you say you are looking for power or looking for anointing is a joke you will never find it one more time i restore your prayer life in the name of jesus christ i don't know what killed your passion for the word your passion for bible study your passion for devotion your passion for the things of god but i command the restoration this night i don't know what took away your passion for the house of god but in the name of jesus may a love for the house of god like never before come upon you in the name of jesus the grace god released to bring the word triumph 
to come to pass in this ministry may that grace speak over you i speak over your life it is your year of triumph therefore whatever has mocked god in your life i command that in as you enter april from tomorrow you triumph over it hallelujah as you enter april it will not be april full it will be april wise it will be april breakthrough it will be april miracles it will be april speed agree with me again i'm praying with you between now and miracle service april please hear me results together with tears in your eyes for joy you will return with them results together with tears of joy in your eyes wave your hands and give jesus all the praise wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord for performance thank you lord for performance in the name of jesus christ dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon, and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again Bye.